Uh, along those lines, what is your favorite region to source Pinot Noir from in California, if that can be said? Oh, I mean, you know, I would say Monterey is a favorite. That you know, there's there's such diversity from uh, you know the cooler climate in Santa Lucia Highlands. You know, to give you uh, you know very bright and uh, you know wonderfully colored, rich Pinot Noir. Uh, on down to sort of the Arroyo Seco, Arroyo Seco in the Greenfield area, where you get that good uh, weight to the palate and just you know that pretty, pretty uh, cherry core. Um, it's not old school Pinot where it was sort of wild strawberries and mushrooms. It's a, you know it's a vibrant, uh, brighter location. And so I, I like working in those areas. Um, what is your take on the culture of wine and? the U.S.? Oh, uh, you know, I'm positive to, to see it uh, expanding and you know, becoming a part of people's lives. It's, uh, you know, I'm blessed with having spent time work-related, you know, in, in European countries where it's such a, such a part of the culture. Um, it's nice. I probably take it for granted because I live here and, uh, and it's a significant part of my life and as you get used to it, you, uh, you know, it becomes very, very natural. So, um, I mean, I hope people can uh, can share that, you know, in uh, in any location. But there's also only so many Mediterranean climates that are going to be ideal for growing grapes. Speaking of Europe, or perhaps anywhere else in the world, if you had the opportunity you know, to collaborate with any winemaking facility or any other winemaker, is there anyone that comes to mind that would be a fun project for you to work on? Well, I mean, if it's, uh, you know, just sort of personal flavors and preferences, I mean, you know, my previous experience with Peter Michael was, you know, a, a glorious one. I mean, the, the quality of fruit from that ranch uh, is probably unsurpassed. Uh, the resources that we had from a facility standpoint were, were fabulous. There was really, you know, the winemaker's job was to, you know, just not mess things up. You know, I like California wines. That's what I would prefer to drink. That's what I prefer to make. There's uh, there's a lot more options, uh, I think, available to you here. Uh, there's plenty of European wines that are fun and interesting, but uh, uh, and I've experienced those. But uh, I would say it's not my passion.